So I think I found one of the secrets to living a happy life and it's this concept that I call your greatest fear is your greatest potential. And I actually read about it originally in this book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's a really, really great book. If you haven't read it, it was actually one of my clients recommended it to me. But basically, the concept is that thing that you're feeling the most resistance to, the thing that it's hardest for you to do, that you can feel the resistance there, of like, no, I shouldn't do it. You know, the thing you've got the most fear around, that's what you should be doing. Because if you think about it, there's basically an infinite array of things that we could be scared of. We could die at any second if like a murderer shows up into your house, you could get hit by traffic. Um, you know, your whole house could burn down, you could lose all of your belongings. Lots of these things could happen. And yet now you're, sit you're sitting in your room worried about putting your work out into the world, putting yourself out into the world, the real authentic you. Okay, that thing that you're thinking about, that you're fearful of doing, that is what you should be doing to live a happier life. Because the pain of regret is much worse than the pain of fear. And this is why therapists do exposure therapy, all right? Exposure therapy is literally exposing people to the fear, whatever their irrational fear is, until they're no longer scared of it, okay? If you are, have a phobia of spiders, like I still kind of do, but it's not as bad as it was, but if you have a phobia of spiders, you lock yourself in a room full of spiders, yes, you'll be terrified, but after a while, you'll realize, hey, these spiders actually don't do anything, and then your brain is no longer gonna have that irrational fear, and you won't be scared of spiders anymore. Well, it's the exact same thing whenever it comes to facing your fears. Whatever type of thing it is to do with putting yourself out there or putting your work out there, if you just start doing it, just start facing that fear, feeling the fear, but doing it anyway, that over time that fear is going to go away and guess what? Then you'll actually be able to do the thing that you want to be doing. And as I said before, the pain of regret is much worse than the pain of facing your fears because the pain of regret will last your whole life. The pain of facing your fears will only last for the short period of time until your body gets used to it. So just whatever that thing that you're thinking of right now in this video, that's what you should be doing. Because I know you're thinking about it right now. You kind of got a vague feeling, okay? You know what it is that you want to be doing. Go, go do it, okay? I'm telling you right now, just go do it, okay? You won't regret it. In fact, you'll probably be so thankful that you did it. Um, you know, this, there's a reason that movies are so popular, right? All the greatest movies are all about characters facing their fears and then becoming better at the other end, okay? Well, your life is your movie, okay? Right now, if you're watching this video, then I guess you're at the start. You're at the point where the character's not that happy and he has these dreams, but he's not doing anything about it. Well, look, this is the catalyst of that story, okay? Go out, face your fears, change your life, and actually do the thing you want to do, and you can get the things that you want to get.